Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to Cape Town. Okay. We are ready for a long day. I have such a long day ahead of me I literally have a lot to do I'm going on vacation with the girls to Cape Town and I have to firstly do my nails I have to just do a fill on these nails maybe choose a different color or if it still looks good with this I'll just stick to it and then I have to also do my hair. Somebody's gonna come do my hair here at home. I'm just doing braids. I don't wanna be stressed about my hair on vacation because I did go on a mini vacation, but it was um, at Mpumalanga and I went with my hair and I was literally so stressed every day on what I am going to do with my hair. But it wasn't a lot of work, you know, because I can handle my hair basically every day the only problem was the swimming having chlorine on my hair it's making my hair dry and then having to blow dry my hair on top of that it was pretty a rough time for my hair actually not for me it was a rough time for my hair so uh, it's early in the morning i'm just going to go get hair extensions um they open at eight so now it's about to eight so i'm heading out now and then I'm gonna do my hair, go to my nails. Guys, in the and the phone I am a stunning. Okay, so I got the braids yesterday. Um they hella cute, hella cute. Um I'll show you guys the full view, they're very, very long. So these are my braids. Very long, very, very long. Isn't this place a gorgeous? Wow, it's proper hey. Whew, late, but <laughs> I made it. Wow, I'll tell you guys the full story when I come back from the dunes, which is what we're gonna do now. Um, I'm gonna be spending the next four nights here. It's so beautiful. It's proper. I'll do a proper tour later when I come back. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. Anyways. Just came from the airport and uh, I'm just late right now. I'll just tell you all about it when I come back. I need so I just got refreshed right now. This is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing. Simple and cute. Just a sporty look for the Atlantis dunes. Heading out now. This place is the Salt Boutique. Um, it's so gorgeous. It's a last like um, beach house. It's so gorgeous. Do everything yourself. Right on time for our booking bibs.
But don't press too much though, because you might accelerate too quick. Just almost slow and slow until you get the accurate. And those you use to control, those are the brakes. You usually use this one. And um, the most important thing is don't um, press both at the same time. You might have um, four. That you say. So you must press one. Yeah, one. one. It's recommended to press one. This one or this one or that one. Okay, you feel This is for the back. This one. Oh, okay. And then when you want to accelerate, you, you just let it go. Oh, that's what you want to do. Where did you do? Yeah, this is the other one. Shooting. Step on it. I guess you're going like you're in a line with this over there. Yeah. You should keep uh, this distance of um, 5 or 1.5 meters. Just so, like when you stop, don't bump into each other. Mogul Rev, um, we just back from the June and it was so fun, it was so stunning, like it was beautiful, but I have sand all over my face, like literally everywhere. Now I need to take a shower, Ugh, it was so hectic. Um, it was so fun though, I'm gonna show you snippets of it. You weren't allowed to take camera in there, so I basically didn't vlog inside, but I took a lot of pictures. And I tried to sneak in a video, a small Nyana video of that place so you guys can see, but it's beautiful. Anyways, we are staying at Salt, um, Salt Boutique. I just want to show you guys around. It's so stunning here. It's very beautiful. It's Salt Boutique, I think, here. Yeah. We got to the Cape at its most windy time. Anyways, yeah. So they also have this um, dining area where we eat and then at the back there it's the lounge where you can chill any time of the day. It's so comfortable here. And it has a small and a kitchen but it's for like everyone staying here. So you can just make something if you want to. Gorgeous, gorgeous place. Oh, guys. And guys, not the plane leaving me. Yo, oh, I had such a hectic morning. So I had to wait as a standby in line to get another flight. To get another flight. I waited and waited and the sad thing is I had to go to the dunes at like at 4 4 o'clock we had an appointment for the dunes luckily I was so lucky because like um, from 8 o'clock from 8 o'clock we were being called um, one by one to go as standbys on the flight and I only got a flight at 10 o'clock and luckily I could, no, at, not 10 o'clock, was it, 
um, to 11. So um, the flight was two hours to 11. Um, and then 12, 1. Or was it 12? Yeah, around there. But I got here at around at around two o'clock i had to come back freshen up and change and then we got to the dunes luckily on time at four o'clock so i'm lucky about that and i'm grateful guys but yeah it was such a stressful mo moment a stressful morning but the dunes just made it all um, better all better because it was so fun i loved it there so this is the bathroom oh guys my mic was not connected i hope you can hear me it has an outside view it's very stunning and yeah that's basically it so yeah guys that was my morning pretty stressful um being left by the plane yeah and then luckily getting here on time for the June so it wasn't such a totally bad day but it was a extremely stressful one because I didn't even sleep yesterday to get there and then not sleeping because usually I travel with SAA or a link and when you travel with them if you um, check in online you can just board whenever before the gate closes at the boarding so with fly as a fare um, you have to actually there's a time limit for checking in your bag and then after that there's a later time for boarding for boarding when they close the gate so i just looked at that time so when i got there the um, the bag chicken was closed so i was like no i can't leave my bag behind because postal is also gonna take time and also had to change when i got here so that's why the plane left me even though i was technically on time um and i had to wait but all is well that ends well it's not a train smash um so now i'm just gonna have fun with my friends it's the four of us here having fun on this girl's trip you wouldn't believe me if i told you it's eight o'clock right now the days are really long here Ooh. what's here i'm gonna change out the music
keep you bitter. I'ma make a better way. Cause I've been working all day. Catch a break. Give a break. What do you want? 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 Very fast. And I was so surprised. Me quality here. We took good. Yeah. Good left. But she sees what she gets. But she sees what you get. Just tell him, boys. Oh, this is the boys, the cameras are like those ones. This is the yellow boys. So today we are at Queen Rock, Queen Rock, it's Queen Rock, right? So we're just doing wine tasting and a small picnic and then um, after that um, we're just gonna chill, hang out at the pool. So I woke up quite early today, I'm tired, I'm exhausted but I'm more well rested than yesterday because yesterday I was so so tired and we were at the dunes you know so there was a lot going on but today we quite chilled I'm with my girl this place is gorgeous gorgeous honey our reservation is here at the picnic area the views honey I love them um, it's chilled there's not too much Sun it's very private I love it now this is what I signed up for Okay guys, your picnic basket for sharing includes our freshly baked baguette bread. Then you've got two salad. So the first one will be your sweet potato salad with the burrata cheese on top. Then you've got the cetro salad with the exotic mixed tomatoes and the fresh orange on top as well. Then you've got two co uh, cheese from Deli Wood. The first one will be your Deli Wood Yugono cheese. Then you've got Deli Wood uh, Kermambe cheese. Then lastly you've got uh, two cold meat which is squashed salami and a copper ham. Then you've got the pork belly confit aside with the fennel salad on top. Then for the spread you've got the cashew pesto that is made out of spinach, garlic and nuts. Then you've got the sunrise tomato puree. Then lastly you've got the namisto sweet butter. It's a normal butter but we combine with the late harvest wine, the viognel. Mm -hmm. We first cook the wine to take 95% alcohol and the remaining 5% is for the flavor. Wow, mm -hmm. nice. Right. Then you will finalize your picnic basket with our beautiful dessert which is our lemon posset and the crumbs and the fresh orange on top. Alright, oh, wow. thank you so much. Thank you so much AJ. It's been so well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I forgot for a minute, I was so concentrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my man. Yeah. What is this? What Good morning guys my hangover is hangovering but today we are doing the, a tour of Cape Town and um, last night it was just clubbing which is why today I'm exhausted tired my tired is tiring and then we're gonna go tour today and then it's the 31st at night it's clubbing again so there's no sleep in cape town the days are apparently long but they're very short for me you can see in jail even the girls the hangover is hangover hang We are waiting for a tour operator at Western Hotel and we are off. It's very early. 
Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to Cape Town. Okay? We are ready for a long day. Almost today. Which day is today? Last day. Last day of the year. 31st? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. New Year's Eve? Yes. Come on. Mm. Complimentary of the season, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. But it's okay. My name is Francis. I'm gonna be your your tour guide. This is the most beautiful, apparently, the beautiful swimming beach on Fals Bay. Mm. There is no waves. There is oh. waves, but it's not like in Fishuk. Mm. And it's clean. Mm. Yeah. 376 rand. The road to the lighthouse. Then. Ugh, my camera is not so clear, but the two oceans meet over there. Yo, it's so windy. We're at boulders, penguins. Ugh, it's so windy. Like, I can't even see anything because the sand is coming into my contact and tearing them up. <laughs> Cape Town is beautiful, my daughter. Woo! It's stunning. It's beautiful. I've said stunning a lot. So we are up top Table Mountain, look at the beauty darlings. Apparently there was a forest fire they started by cigarettes.
since last night, since my daughter, but that's a story for another day. Today is a cruise at Waterfront, um, DNA Waterfront. Next time it will be yacht in Dubai, baby. <laughs> Can you see this red light? Oh, 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 oh,